Okay, so I saw this pop up. Give me one second. Da 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 da. Shit, hold on. No. Is this it? Yes. Yes. Okay. There we go. There we go. I found this, and it was just like, people are going back to, I don't know what they're going back to the moon for. So, what the fuck is this about? This is what, January 20th, so five days ago? NASA Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. What's that? 15, 19, 32, 52, 7. Hmm. There's another time. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like doing math today. It's been over 50 years since the United States sent the first humans to the moon in what was a highly it, yeah. space race between the U.S. and the former USSR. Okay. It's actually been almost 100 years. Now there's a renewed interest to return they are hard. with many more global players involved. Russia launched its first moon landing spacecraft. Hold on, I want to hear him say that again with his whole hands. Because they are easy, but because they are hard. <sighs> now there's a renewed interest to in the moon with many <sighs> more global players involved. Get to the chop. Russia okay, launched I'll stop. its first moon landing spacecraft in nearly 50 years. India has become the first country to reach the south pole of the moon and the fourth country to ever land on the moon. Good China for them. sent its youngest ever crew to its orbiting space station today as the country reiterated plans to put astronauts on the moon by the end of the decade. So are we in the this 50s morning, now? History is 60s? being made. The first US She looks pregnant for some reason. Reason. Or like that doll from uh, Bloodborne. I don't know why. She just looks uh, like uh, weird. It's, it's strange things. It's strange things. Lunar lander in more than 50 years is on its way to the moon's surface. Kay. Japan has made history as the fifth nation to successfully land on the moon. There's renewed interest in the moon. We're going back to learn to live in a deep space environment. The fuck for? So now you want to, after you fuck up this house, you want to move to, you really think that you're going to be allowed to move somewhere else once you were in an eviction notice? Couldn't even take care of your, couldn't even clean up your own room. Have you seen California's fucking roads? Under them. They're under, they're overpasses. You see how much shit's under there and it caught fire and they're blaming the hobos for it? Poor fucking hobos. Could they have done it? Probably, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's different because I'm East Coast. I, I I I like honestly. Every time I've ever been to California, I hated that. I hated that place. I never want to go back to California again. I'm sorry, people, but y'all like I, I I it just it's just not for me. Everything's flat. It looks the same. It feels like everybody's on some uh, like shade shit. I I don't trust the motherfucker a lot of times from Cali. Like they're they're fun people. But they don't need to see where I, I keep my money. Thank you, phone. You know, I, I don't need. They don't need to know where I keep my money. <laughs> For long periods of time. Look at all these trash so people. We can go to Mars and return safely. And so we're gonna go to the moon and Mars. The fuck for? Look at how we just assume it's Americans doing this shit. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Of course it would be the American flags and shit. Why though? Why does it need to be right there? Isn't it enough that it's a patch on here? Does it really like it, why does it need to be on here? In case you lose it? It looks like it's completely attached to hold on. Oh, okay, there's a theater mode. How does that look? Not bad at all. Look, look, you can see it's attached like the wing of a fucking bird. It, it, it's skin. It's part of its skin. What the fuck? Like, how? You would have to. It looks like a fucking luggage suitcase that's attached to the suit. That's probably annoying as fuck. How do you zip that up? Would it be in the front? 
Is it maybe 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 it's like a a jacket overlay with the vest that you sip over? Maybe that makes it easier. Still though, no, that's fucking stupid. That's stu I don't give a fuck how much more weightless I am in space. I don't want to carry shit that's gonna make me uncomfortable in the neck and shoulders. Fuck that. Moon is a proving ground. We need to get to the moon. Humanity needs to get to the moon in order to learn how to live in space in order to learn how to utilize the resources of space. and that So you want to live on the fucking dirt before you get to actual... Okay. But, but Pluto can't be a planet ever again? Are you fucking for real? So you want to inhabit this fucking moon bare as fuck with no resources. Literally the Alsace Lorraine of our universe, right? But, but Pluto can't be a planet. It's an exo Fuck off with your shit. This is bullshit. Am I being childish? Absolutely. I have that right. I just got off of work. I've been dealing with a migraine since yesterday. I feel better, but it's still ridiculous. And now people are telling me they want to they want to farm the moon. They want a moon farm, everybody. They want a moon farm. That is really the stepping stone to all of the vast riches in the universe. And who gets to the moon this time around could have implications on Earth as well as the cosmos. Whoever gets to establish a significant lunar presence is making a statement about their political system, about their economic system, about who is ahead in the geopolitical competition. But a second new... So whoever sperm reaches the egg first, is that what we're going for here? Are we, are we really doing penis commentary right now? part to this is the belief that there are significant resources on the moon that are useful to Earth. Like what? Or useful for future space flight. Do you know that for sure? I feel like these are lies. The United States was the first country to put man on the moon in 1969. Supposedly. And to this day, is still the only nation to have landed people on the moon. Okay, I'm sorry. I do not believe that we've ever been on the moon. There's a Van Halen belt and the need for, like, at least six inches of lead. There's the fact that there's really no sound of the rocket. Like, I know it's space and it's a vacuum, but you should at least be able to hear something from the inside. You're inside the goddamn thing. There's air everywhere. Sure, there's no gravity, but you can still fucking breathe. And if you can breathe, that means that there are molecules that can move and sound moves through molecules. Like... We, we, like, we have recordings of each and every planet in our sun having a certain vibration where they're literally singing a song. But, I'm not, but I can't hear the rocket that's right underneath their goddamn asses. How is the broadcast able to come back so quickly? You know, I just... I just I have questions. That's all. That, that's that's all. That's pretty. In 1959, the I want to paint that. The fucking symbol will go off the goddamn. Soviet thing. Union beat the U.S. to become the first nation to reach the surface of the moon with its Luna 2 spacecraft. This all happened during the peak of the Cold War. We should have stole that. <laughs> Just start a fight. Fuck it. Spacecraft sent to the moon are typically categorized into several mission types. Okay. A flyby mission passes close to the moon, but does not go into orbit around the moon. Think of it as an initial reconnaissance mission. An orbiter mission allows the spacecraft to go around the moon, continually taking detailed photos or radar images of it. They also follow a hard landing destiny. mission is where a probe crashes into the moon. Those can be intentional, with the impact kicking up debris that can then be analyzed, often by the instruments of an orbiter so spacecraft, smack the fuck out of it. or okay. unintentional when an attempted soft landing goes awry. Soft landings are typically the most challenging and costly missions, as the spacecraft must make it to the surface of the moon with its structure and instruments fully intact. Since the late 1960s, there's been over 20 successful soft landings on the moon. Six of those were NASA's manned Apollo missions. And we'll That's a lot of like red from both sides. Like, look, look at this, look, look, China and America. With Japan over here, I don't know who the fuck they are. One ain't paying attention to that much. But look, it's just China and America like, for no reason. None. What are you fighting over? It's a goddamn rock in the fucking sky. Witches worship it and so do elephants. Sure. Y'all don't. What the fuck you want with the moon for? Fucking weirdos. 
That looks like something, but I don't know what it is yet. More than 100 lunar missions are expected to take place like by 2030. A major reason for this renewed interest in going back to the moon was finding concrete evidence of a valuable natural resource, water. For years following the Apollo missions, scientists had seen clues of water on the moon, but it wasn't until India's Chandrayaan-1 mission, which sent an orbiter oh, and India? impactor to the moon in 2008, that researchers became confident that the moon was not as dry as they originally thought. When we thought that the moon was really just sort of barren and had nothing, um, the concept of sending somebody Three, to the moon and two, trying to one, keep that person zero. alive was just colossally yeah, expensive off. and there didn't seem to be a benefit. But now we have water, so we can send people to the moon and we can support them on the moon without having to send water up. Has anyone drank that water yet? What are you going to even do to drink that to make sure that that water is drinkable? Like potable water. Is it potable for human consumption? What if there's a disease in the water? And it's like invasion of the body snatchers. And all of a sudden there's this thing going, yeah! In a weird, like, screeching voice because you're not one of them. And they know it. And they're making sure everybody else knows it, too. Like, like what if it's something that, it, like, it caused, like... <sighs> Whatever. Altitude is being brought down from 800 meters. And we are nearing and approaching the lunar surface. Mm -hmm. In August of 2023, India made another breakthrough, becoming the first nation to successfully soft land on the moon's south pole, an area that scientists think is the most likely to contain large reserves of water. Earlier that month, a Russian probe en route to soft land in the same area crashed into the moon after it spun into an uncontrolled orbit. We're pretty sure there is water on the moon. We're pretty sure that most of it is in these very, very deep craters on the lunar south pole because no sunlight ever gets to them. Aside from being crucial for human survival, water can be used to make rocket fuel by splitting its components, oxygen and hydrogen, and liquefying them. Mm -hmm. When these two elements are brought back together, the chemical reaction results in a burst of energy mm -hmm. that can be used to propel a rocket. Yeah. NASA is using this fuel type in its new SLS rocket that will launch astronauts back to the moon. With access to water, the moon could one day become a refueling station for rockets and a springboard for deeper space exploration. Private companies and countries are also eager to mine the moon for rare earth metals. And then there's the isotope helium-3, which, while rare on Earth, is abundant on the moon and can theoretically be used to power nuclear fusion reactors. We haven't figured out quite- You know, us as human beings are really f something else. Hmm. You know? Just... Just want to go out and fuck, go to fuck outside and fuck with things that aren't ours, and then, you know. Mm. I just don't think that's, I, I don't think this is a wise idea, but that's just me. That's just me. How to do it yet? There's a lot of theories about it, but once we figure that out, the helium-3 on the moon could seriously power the Earth, the entire Earth, for centuries. Yeah, because it's not like we didn't fuck up everything the already. The presence of water on the moon and access to its other resources have motivated a number of nations and commercial companies to explore it. In the last few years, Japan, South Korea, the United Arab Emirates, Russia, and India have all sent spacecraft to the moon, with varying degrees of success. Okay. Most recently, Japan became just the fifth nation to soft land a spacecraft on the moon. On the heels of its own successful unmanned moon landing, India has also said that it plans to put an astronaut on the moon by 2040. Russia too has expressed a desire to put astronauts, cosmonauts. known as cosmonauts in Russian, on the moon between 2031 and 2040, according to state-owned media. But the biggest competition is between the United States and China. Right! And who can set up a presence on the moon first? Once you have a human presence, you start establishing rules. That's just human nature. Mm -hmm. And really the question then becomes, what will be the lingua franca? What will be the common language of lunar exploration? Will it be English or will it be Chinese? The U.S. Oh, effort to return to the moon is known as Artemis, 
The program is spearheaded by NASA in conjunction with a number of commercial and international partners. Right. And is expected to cost the country over $93 billion. The fuck? Artemis is all about getting people back to the moon for long duration. So eventually we want to get people on the surface of the moon for up to 30 days. And it's first about science. We want to understand the south pole of the moon, which is... Before or after a woman has her period? Cause that's gonna make a hell of a fucking difference. Just putting that out there. Are they allowed to have sex? Would you try to produce a baby on the moon just to see what happens? Hmm. Where we're flying to. And we also wanna test our systems close to home in a partial gravity environment before we send crews onto Mars. As has become the norm, NASA is working with a number of commercial partners to build out its Artemis infrastructure. Some of these companies include Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Aerojet Rocketdyne, Northrop Grumman, Blue Origin, SpaceX, SpaceX, Axiom Space, and Collins Aerospace. NASA's first mission, Artemis 1, took place in 2022 okay. and tested NASA's Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft, which will eventually carry astronauts to lunar orbit. More recently, now just look at how stupid this is, right? Look at how dumb this looks. Carry astronauts to Blue Wing, Aerojet huh. Rocketdyne, North of Grumman, Blue Origin, SpaceX, Hold on. Axiom Space, and Collins Aerospace. NASA's first mission, Artemis 1, took place in 2022. And you need all of this just to launch that fucking thing. That's all this is. It's all this launch, this piece, all the way up there. All of this just to go up there. Just a lot. Where the fuck does the bigger pieces go? Is it, is it biodegradable? I don't think so. Is it just in space? Does it fall back to the Earth? Do people have to worry about whether or not it's going to land on their house? Yeah, you know, I, I always wondered about that. Like, where does the rest of this shit go? Because it's got to go somewhere. Is it just is it just a bunch of trash in the goddamn sky? Is that what the stars is? Garbage. There's just garbage. Oh my god. I should look that up instead of sounding so dumb. Tested NASA's space launch system rocket and Orion spacecraft, which will eventually carry astronauts to lunar orbit. More recently, NASA, in partnership with commercial company Astrobotic, launched the country's first lunar lander in decades, though it suffered a technical anomaly shortly after launch. The Artemis II mission, which was originally scheduled for November 2024, but has since is. been pushed back to September 2025, will launch four astronauts into orbit around the moon before Artemis III returns astronauts to the moon's surface in September 2026. Whoa, 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 the Artemis II mission, which was originally scheduled for November 2024, but has since been pushed back to September 2025, will launch four astronauts into orbit around the moon. That's portal colors! The blue and the orange! So we rotate this- okay. Thank you, phone. So, we are, so why would you... Uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. You gotta, like, project... Well, wait. Do I have to go south to go east? Well, yeah, because if it's, like, anything like Portal, yeah, you're gonna go through here, but the outcome is the out outcome, and that's when you come back, so... Huh. Circle, lopsided, half circle, lopsided. But here you're going east in order to go north. But you're supposed to go west to go north. So would West go take you south then? But why is that? I don't know. I'm just remembering something from my book. So it's just kind of like... <clears throat> it's like they're going east to go north. But that, but it, 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 you should be going west to go north. 
So why is it backwards? Did I already read that backwards? I feel like I'm like, maybe I'm, I'm remembering that backwards, but I don't think so. Before Artemis 3 returns astronauts to the moon's surface in September 2026. Flying back to the moon is very hard, and getting to the South Pole is I bet you they're harder. using Creating blender. deep space systems to, to function hey, for 21 days in orbit, 30 days on the surface. It takes time to prove that out. As part of its Artemis objectives, NASA is working to build a space station that will orbit the moon as well as establish a base camp on the moon's surface. We've talked about setting up something called the Lunar Gateway Station. So that would be a space station that would in fact be manned all the time, that would orbit the moon. And every so often you would then see a crew go from the Lunar Gateway Station to the lunar surface where they presumably would have shelters and habitats and things like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, China is a relative newcomer to the space race with the country not having conducted a manned space flight until 2003. Really? But China has since made tremendous progress. The country built its own Earth orbiting station after Congress banned all scientific collaboration between NASA and China in 2011, meaning China lost access to the International Space Station. China, you really need to stop like trying to find ways to infiltrate your friends. You know, people are trusting you and you keep violating their trust. Going through their cell phones without permission and shit. Along Stop with it. a number of partners, including Russia, Venezuela, and Pakistan, China has also announced plans to build its own research station on the lunar surface, and has said it wants to put astronauts on the moon by around 2030. United States aerospace leadership has expressed concerns about China's moon ambitions, especially if the country were to establish a presence on the moon before the U.S. I think the space race is really between us and China, and we need to protect the interest of the international community. You see the uh, actions of the Chinese government on Earth. They go out and claim some international islands in the South China Sea, and then they claim them as theirs. So naturally, I don't want uh, China to get to the South Pole first with humans and then say, this is ours. Stay out. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 is often- Right, that's our job. And if you want in it, we at least expect payment, but we would let you in if you pay enough and if you look right. But we would let you in if you have enough money. We would let you in if you're a blue blood family and we will let you in why not everyone just leave the moon alone because you don't know what's on it like at one point someone i don't know who but somebody swore that something hit the moon and it was hollow it let out a ring which, that, like, worries me heavy. It's just like, so it's hollow. It's possibly just dead. Or there could be something in there. Like, that, that's even scarier. Like, what if that's just something, like, you know what? I'm, let's seen as the cornerstone of international space law. Over a hundred countries, including the U.S., Russia, and China, are party to the legally binding treaty, which details the rules governing the peaceful exploration in use of space. The Outer Space Treaty, 1967, said nobody can own a planet. Nobody can own a natural satellite, the moon, any of the moons of Jupiter or something like that. It said that you cannot deploy weapons of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. but parts oh of yeah, the people Outer are Space totally going to be listening to that. And left up to interpretation. President Obama in 2015 signed a law that said, we interpret Article 2, which is that article that says you can't claim territory in space, to mean that you can extract resources and that's not claiming territory. So once you take the resources off that other celestial body, they are yours. They are your property at that point. Article 9 of the Outer Space Treaty, which says that nations should conduct activities, quote, with due regard to the interests of other nations, has also been ambiguous. We don't know exactly what due regard means. The United States has said, well, we think due regard means that you have to respect an exclusionary zone or a, a coordination zone around any operations or any objects that we have in space. It's not difficult to imagine such an exclusionary zone being set up by a country around a place rich in natural resources, for example. If you get to some of the most water-rich areas first, you could, because there is no 
formal legal system here to yeah. try to lay claim to that. If that first mover, I'll I want there to be space cowboys with like bullets and like six, nine rounds, be shooting it up, going and all that shit. I, I want to see someone riding a mechanical bull, literally a, a mechanation bull, an automaton. Automaton. Yeah, I wanted someone to build an automaton where it's a bull that they ride all around like shooting people with their space cowboy ways. Guitars jamming as the synthesizer pours in dramatically like with suns and stars and shit. You know what I'm trying to say, but I want it to be dramatic as fuck. I deserve that. So it's the first mover with respect to fusion. That first mover is going to control not just the moon, but the earth as well. Because mm -hmm. they will have the access and be able to distribute that helium-3. In addition to the- At least you're pouring this into something. It's not like a fucking sub like the last fucking time. But still, I don't like it. The fact that the name Artemis, you know, the Huntress Goddess. I don't like that not one bit. Look at all these different fucking countries. I don't know any of them flags except for mine. I don't even see mine. That's a fucking shame. Wow. Oh, no, there the it is. Treaty, there it is. Coalitions of different nations have come up with their own sets of rules. In 2020, the United States introduced the Artemis Accords. This is a non-binding, multilateral arrangement between the well, United the States government and the shit. over 30 other world governments participating alongside the U.S. in the okay, Artemis never Program. Mind. Notably missing from these signatories, however, are China and Russia. Russia and China objected to the Artemis Accords for two reasons. Russia, of course, this was during COVID, just prior to the invasion of Ukraine, said, oh, this is the United States being imperialist, bah, not, we're going to have none of it. And China has said, we're not going to look at the Artemis Accords because they were negotiated outside of the United Nations, which is the only place where space law should be made. But even if everyone on Earth was to agree on a set of laws for outer space, Enforcement right now would be another issue. Think about enforcement of international law. We, we know that we don't do a good job of that here on Earth. Imagine no, a violation of international law in space, and we can't even send you know, people to the moon right now. And so enforcement Why not? would be very difficult. We've been doing shit like that. But before any nation can establish a presence on the moon or claim its we riches, with less money. they have to overcome some tough challenges. Like For what? China, the big challenges are, this is brand new, and they are still developing some of the key technologies associated. For example, uh, a heavy lift booster to lift the space capsule and crew and consumables that'd be necessary not only to go to the moon, but obviously to bring them back. The challenge to us is very, actually very basic. The Chinese approach is one based on long-term planning mm -hmm. with programmatic stability. Mm -hmm. We have had repeated studies and projects and exploratory commissions on not only going back to the moon, but also going to Mars. But budgets change mm -hmm. every four to eight years, depending on who the president is, even more frequently uh, if you think about who runs Congress. Mm -hmm. One of the things that was really phenomenal about the transition from Trump is that we did not lose Artemis. It was like the one thing that the Biden administration kept from the Trump administration. But despite the challenges facing individual oh, so this countries, is, well, yeah, they continue wanted, to like, push the boundaries space of force. what we can do in space. He's into that. And Lynn remains optimistic. The exploration and use of space by treaty. So wait a minute. The only reason everybody's still invested in this whole going to the moon thing is because of Trump? Maybe that's why he wanted space force. That's really how fucking Gemini's, I swear. The Outer Space Treaty is... You know, I love you, Gemini, but if you weren't talking out of all four sides of your mouth, it'd be a lot easier. Not all Geminis. But yes, yes. To be yes, for all the benefit Geminis. of yes, all. all and we can make it that way. Competition isn't necessarily a bad thing. We need to have a lot of countries excited because this is our first step as a human race versus as a Chinese person, a, an American person, a, a British person, a Kenyan person, right? Until they we put that flag up. We need to stop thinking about ourselves in that way, and space is the way we're gonna oh do Oh my that. god, he's running from a monster. With a suitcase. Of course he has a suitcase. This is the dumbest shit. This is dumb. Okay, like, I'm over it, so... I don't know. Let me know what you think, if you care at all. Um, 
I think this is a terrible idea, especially since I saw the portal thing. Um, and if you played that game, you understand what I mean by that. Like, you know, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. That's all. But it's through the moon, and that bothers me a little bit. But that's all. Talk to you guys later. Bye.